Hello and welcome to the Dietrich Gamecast. My name is Jeremy and welcome to my fantasy draft of NBA 2K21 for the PlayStation 4. I'm here as always in my league mode, but uh, due to current social distancing concerns, uh, not with Jorge like I usually am. So hopefully there'll be some better basketball being played at the very least, but we will have Jorge on as soon as it is uh, you know, safe to do so. Okay, I didn't get the number one pick, which is unfortunate, but I didn't get Dodge each either. Okay, so hopefully we have a good pick. I don't even know where I'm picking. I'm Golden State because, well, ironically enough, I picked them because I like their players, even though that doesn't really factor in new stadium, though. There was Curry, Lillard. A lot of good players in the NBA right now. You know, there's not no no uh, no low quality players so far. But we'll keep an eye out. I would have liked to have picked by now, to be honest. I was hoping to get a star player. But there's still there's still some left. Look, like Westbrook. Be alright, Zion. Take him. That's actually pretty low. Number 19, I would take Zion over Westbrook. But that's just me. Okay, really, I could have picked by now. If we're being, you know, if we're being fair. Okay, here we go. But 26. Siakamo. Well, I am Canadian. Could go with the Canadian uh, team star, Siakam. Um... Is that the good move? Though Lowry also available. I think Siakam would actually be a pretty solid pick. Normally I'd go for somebody who just shoots threes, but I figure since I'm not going to be playing against Jorge, it's going to be more difficult to get open threes with my best players. And Siakam can shoot threes anyway, so you know. Let's go with Siakam. A bit boring taking the top guy on the list, but I feel like it's actually a pretty good pick. And apologies, I was at 27 didn't see the Chris Paul pick, but I wouldn't have picked him, to be honest. Poor Zingas fall into the second round. Hell of a point to prove. DeRozan gone as well. Okay. Should I just recreate the Raptors? I don't even like the Raptors that much, but I mean, Siakam and Lowry would be a potent combination. Hmm. Rudy Gobert's potential is higher. Something that has to be considered. And he's younger. You know, I might pick Rudy Gobert, actually. I'm picking the top guy from the list again, but... You know, we can start making reach picks later on. I'm going to go with Gobert. Siakam and Gobert. Two strong guys on the ball. There we go. I never really take my bigs first, but... It'll be a different style of basketball this year, potentially. It'll have to be, because I'm not going to have uh, big shooters the way I usually do. Though, again, Siakam. Siakam can shoot. Good thing I didn't pick Lowry. He fell like 10 spots after my pick. Andre Drummond. Still holding strong. In the second round. Still some good players, honestly. D'Angelo Russell. Not We're not getting the D'Angelo uh, to Warriors reunion, unfortunately. Play Griffin. Biddy, Brogdon. I know a lot more players than... When I started doing this, I knew, like, five NBA players. Now I I pretty much know everybody who's gone so far. Unlike the Madden draft, if you saw that. I didn't know quite a few of the players. And I'm feeling good about my team. You know, I don't have anybody to egg me on to take, uh, you know, Nene or anything like that. OG... With the big shot, uh, was that yesterday? Two days ago? I think it'll be two days ago when I put this up. Big shot to win against the Celtics. Canadian television went nuts for it. On the hockey broadcast anyway. I wasn't watching the basketball game. I'm ready to make a pick. Unfortunately, I'm near the bottom of the draft, so there's kind of a long gap between my picks. Let's pick somebody good. John Wall, we don't really need him. Well, actually, did I put the salary cap on? I don't think so. Anyway, Golden State can spend to the luxury. You know, that's not a problem. Should I get John Wall is the real question. I can't just be picking the top guy again, though. Ooh, DeMarcus Cousins. Don't need him. Yield. Should I take Lou Williams? Really good player, but 
in more of a sixth spot, not really as my third best guy. I think I'm gonna go with John Wall. Honestly, I could have just had the computer draft and gotten the same result, but I'm feeling pretty good about my team so far. Siakam, Gobert, and Wall, in case you couldn't remember. It took me a second, but I do remember. Oh, I can't take Al Horford, or he'll be disappointed. I could take Buddy Heald, though. Or should I take Josh Richardson? Or Fournier, I do like Fournier. I don't really know why. I feel like he used to have hair. I mean, he has a bit of hair, but I mean more hair. Good three-shooter. The best three-shooter is healed. I feel like picking Fournier is probably not the right move, though I am tempted. I'm going to take Buddy Heald. I'm just auto-drafting here. But I like how my team's coming together. Bridges. Bridges. Starting to get a couple guys I don't know. But I still know most of them. Obviously, Dwight Howard I know. Al Orford. These are classics of Dietrich Gamecast drafts. Years gone by. Carmelo. I actually wouldn't have minded having Carmelo. RJ Barrett. Hung around for a while. We're not going for any youth, though. You know, this is a win-now roster. Golden State had a bad season. You know, can't have two in a row. The fans couldn't take that. Larry Nance Jr. not looking very enthusiastic in his picture. Markel Fultz looks like he's in a good mo mood, though. It is a long time between my picks, I gotta say. I guess if I hit triangle, maybe it would speed up. But I also kind of like seeing where people are going. Not This is not a long draft like, you know, your Maddens or your MLBs, so we can let it simmer a little bit. It's like, you know, making a stew. It's got to take forever or else you don't have the credentials. Draymond Green was still around? I guess he's not that good anymore, but, man, I would have taken him. So I need a small forward. Let's see who's going to be on the board. DeAndre Hunter would have been... All right, I guess he's only 75 overall, though. And again, we're not going for youth. Sadly, I'm not in a position to take Tristan Thompson. Otto Porter. Now, that's interesting. Who do I like here? I like Eric Gordon, honestly. He's not the worst at three-pointers, which might actually be good in terms of dissuading me. He's a good physical player. He's got great potential. He's kind of old, though. He's probably reached his potential. So that I shouldn't base my decision on that. He's really not better in any way. This wouldn't really be a logical pick. I should try and make a more logical pick. Nothing logical down there. Though I would like to take KCP. Should I take Joe Inglis? Ingles? I don't know how to say it. Inglewood. Call him Inglewood. Yeah, I like that. I'll have to look up how to say it, but unless anybody knows, then you can just put it in the comments. Oh, I could have taken Mo Bamba. Anyway, we're going to get into bench players now. I'm about to pick the sixth man of the year. I'm telling you right now. Is it Rudy Gay? Uh, I don't feel like he would win it, necessarily. Patrick Beverly might be good. Seth Curry? That's almost like Steph Curry. Could sell some jerseys, at the very least. I do like Eric Gordon. Yeah, let's take Eric Gordon. Don't know why I like him so much, but he's going to win sixth man of the year now. That's my goal, other than winning the championship and getting the MVP. And winning the three-point contest if I do that. Harrison Barnes going. There's Seth Curry. Going to Brooklyn. New home of uh, Steve Nash. He's from my neck of the woods. An exciting hiring. Maybe slightly controversial, but... Apparently Kevin Durant likes him. And really 
What else do you need? Should be an exciting team next year, actually. Brooklyn. Could, uh... Could get pretty fiery. Potential for ego clashes. Or a really amazing team. Who knows? Shake Milton. That's a good name. There goes Cody Zeller. Heir to the Zeller's fortune. Which is probably a bit light these days. Okay, we're going for a seventh now. So I've got a backup sort of for small forward and shooting guard. Let's get a, uh, a big man backup. That's where I think I'm going. Unless there's a really good point guard. Which there probably isn't at this stage of the draft. Just like that, I shouldn't have said that. They're, now they're picking point guards. Okay. Whoa, there's Mike Conley staring me right in the face. Actually, there are just point guards left. Might Conley be a good guy off the bench? Hmm. Or would I rather take Patrick Beverly? I'm kind of leaning towards Beverly, honestly. He's got good defense. I could use some of that. Better basketball IQ as well. It's just the mid-range jumper. Remind me not to shoot with Beverly. I don't know who I'm talking to, but remind myself. Done. Patrick Beverly. I'm liking my team, honestly. I accidentally hit R2. Like, I feel like my team might actually be good. Okay. Big man. I'd like one that can play power forward like Derek Favors. Great rebounder. I'm all about getting rebounds. Because I miss a lot. So I think Derek Favors would actually be a really good fit. We're going to take him. Okay, I'm going to speed speed up a little bit, just because, you know, these guys aren't quite as exciting. Oh, Rashawn Rondo. Sorry, I spoke too soon. Shabazz Napier. Yeah, I know a lot of these players. I'm feeling pretty good. Patrick Mills, Ish Smith. I don't know Isaac Bonga, but hopefully I get to know him at some point. Maxi Kleber. Both the Hernan Gomez's picked one after the other. That's impressive. So if you haven't watched one of these series before, I'm going to be doing a uh, full season, trying to go for the championship. Uh, new episodes here on the DJ Gamecast. Subscribe, make sure you don't miss them. I think there's something about hitting a bell. Okay. Kind of in a free-for-all mode here. Maybe Ilyasova? Oh, Iguodala. The legendary warrior. This is a stupid pick, but let's have some fun with it. Andre Iguodala. Finally back in Golden State. Because the team was good when Iguodala was on it. Ergo, Getting Iguodala on the team will make the team good. That's my logic. Now let's take a look at our team here. Siakam, Gobert, Wall, Heald, Inglis, or Ingles, or Inglewood, Gordon, Beverly, Favors, Iguodala. Pretty good team. Let's get a natural power forward, I think. Like Ilyasova's still there. I should probably be picking younger players. Or Al Farouk Aminu. Hmm. Let's actually look at power forwards. Because now might be a time to get a little bit of youth. Just in case all my players fall off a cliff. Though I can't imagine there's top prospects left. Mbamute. Um, yeah, he's not really good enough to make my roster. Let's just stick to our plan. I kind of want to take... My heart's saying Aminu. My head is saying Ilyasova. And I gotta, I gotta pick up the W's, so. Here you go, Ilyasova. Wesley Matthews, ugh. Oh. I always like to get a Matthews on my team if I can. Here goes Aminu. 
a maker. I am hitting triangle, by the way. That's why it's kind of jumping around weird. Come on, Looney. Bull, bull. Still some good players around, honestly. Good depth in this draft. Or nobody was picking centers, judging by how many centers are going. Apparently I missed the memo on picking centers. I guess just to take one. Um, Marjanovic. Georgie Dang. Some good at... Oh, J.R. Smith. Hold on a minute. I don't... Wouldn't really make sense positionally, but... Could be good. I do like to shoot... I shouldn't do this, but I do like to shoot mid-range jumpers with my centers for whatever reason. Kyle Quinn has an A in the mid-range game. So I think I'm going to take Kyle Quinn. Just in case I keep doing that. I don't know how much court time he's realistically going to get. It'll probably be enough to make a difference. Okay, where am I light here? Okay, so I'm good on centers. Let's get a guard. Jamal Crawford, he's honestly, I don't even pick guys in their 40s. I don't want to become a caricature of myself. J.R. Smith is calling out to me. Is he? I didn't really, haven't seen him play in a while. Is he just really bad now? Or is this a really stupid pick? Kyle Korver. I do like picking Kyle Korver, but I feel like he'll be around next round. I'm going to take Avery Bradley. I feel like that's a smarter decision than taking J.R. Smith. In fact, I'm almost certain. He's going to be good. I feel like my team's, you know, not super flashy. It's got some guys who are sort of stars, but not too flashy. But it's going to get the job done. That's my hope. J.R. Smith going to Atlanta. Okay, Kyle Corver. Done. Couldn't let him slip away, you know. There was E-Man Shumpert. We all know him from that, that one Kanye video where he's with a goat or something. Okay, power forward or shooting guard. Where do I want the depth? Shooting guard, maybe? I don't really want Garrett Temple, though. Wayne Ellington. See, nobody's really calling out to me. I would pick him, but... Matthew spelled wrong, so that's a bit of an issue. Now, this is more exciting. I could take Cephalosha, I could take Mba Mute, Damari Carroll, Dean Wade. You think he just, uh, like, signs in as D Wade and says he plays in the NBA and hopes people think he's Dwayne Wade? I mean, he doesn't really look like him, but, you know, some people only know the names. Let's go for... Why doesn't Bob Mute have an H beside his name? That's concerning me. Mm, yeah, that's putting me off, I gotta say. I'm gonna go for Tabo Cephalosha. The finishing touch to my championship roster. If anyone thinks I'm not gonna win the championship, they're probably right. But that's not the wavelength I'm on. Let's see who's the last pick here. Is Mba Mute not going to get picked? That'd be pretty harsh. Last pick is Donta Hall. Sad way to go out for Mba Mute. Unless I just missed him get picked. But I don't think so. Alright, that's my team. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I normally load and download draft class, but I don't think it's like set up properly yet. Like, how do you... How do you sort by the one that has the prospects for next year? That's all I want. Too much work? I'll auto-generate. We're probably only going to do one season this anyway. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, 
Make sure not to miss next episode here on the Teacher Gamecast. Also doing series, similar series for Madden and MLB. And uh, hoping to have some other stuff up as well. But it's, uh, you know, it's a new sports game season. It's very exciting. I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.